Today, we have an interesting video lined up where we cover the battle of the NFT marketplace. We are going to compare two of the most trending platforms in the space. The first mover, OpenSea, and its new noisy neighbor, LooksRare. We will cover everything from how these platforms came about to how they differ now. Also, stick around to find out about the latest vampire attack in town. All right, let's get right to OpenSea's origin. Remember CryptoKitties, the blockchain game with cute virtual cats that can be bred and sold as NFTs? Well, this concept captured the attention of two software engineers, Alex Atala and Devin Finzer. The duo saw the potential in NFTs that would enable true ownership of digital items and went on to found OpenSea. However, it wasn't smooth sailing going forward for OpenSea. No pun intended. For one, the active number of users was below average. Of course, the NFT scene wasn't as we know it now, so it makes sense that the platform was struggling since the whole NFT scene was generally not doing well. Fast forward to February 2021, it was almost like the NFT market woke up from hibernation and we started seeing the platform putting up crazy numbers. To say that this market took off is simply an understatement. A platform that was once lifeless started having over a billion dollars in monthly transaction volume. It gets even more interesting when LooksRare comes into the scene in 2022 in a headline-grabbing fashion. Let's talk about the vampire attack on January 10th. You know how vampires suck blood from their victims? In crypto, the blood usually represents the users of a successful platform. Basically, newer platforms use this vampire attack to suck users out of an existing platform, usually by offering some type of incentive. This is exactly how it went down in the LooksRare vampire attack on OpenSea. LooksRare announced that NFT traders who had traded at least 3 ETH worth of NFTs on OpenSea over the prior six months were eligible for an airdrop of their token known as Lux. Speaking of airdrops, you can click here to watch our short video on how to get airdrops in 2022. All right, back to it. So LooksRare's Lux tokens were up for grabs, but there was one condition. Users had to list an NFT on the platform first. This strategy proved effective in the short run. In just a short time, LooksRare had a good number of active NFT traders. We're gonna discuss shortly why active is in quotes. Anyway, LooksRare saw a spike in the daily trading volume. This led to the price of Looks token shooting up to nearly $6 around the 20th of January, just 10 days after launch. So did the student surpass the master? Before any of that, let's look at the differences between these two platforms. One of the biggest differences between the two platforms is that one tries to conform to the Web3 ethos by delivering a community-first NFT market. This is one of the biggest selling points of LooksRare. That said, its community approach is defined by two main pillars. The first one is that users can receive rewards in Looks for buying and selling NFTs on the platform. And when users receive these tokens, they have the option to stake them for awards paid out in wrapped ETH and looks. This is where the other pillar comes in. LooksRare redistributes 100% of generated platform fees among the stakers. However, offering trading rewards has proven to be a double-edged sword in that the rewards have been attracting new users and increasing trading volume. On the flip side, these rewards have created a new problem called wash trading. This happens when a user swaps the same NFT back and forth from their own wallets just to get the rewards. All right, what about OpenSea's model? OpenSea takes a different approach, as it has a typical traditional business model, and due to this, it has faced criticism, especially with the announcement of plans of going public instead of releasing a token to encourage decentralization. LooksRare even takes a shot at OpenSea in its mission statement, saying that it is tired of decision makers who value business over the community, seeking IPO instead of benefiting the communities that got them there. Numbers don't lie. Which platform is dominant when it comes to statistics? A great place to start is by comparing their trading volume metrics. At the time of making this video, LooksRare total trading volume since launch is over $25 billion, 
compared to OpenSea's $19 billion in the same period. Well, these numbers are enough to crown LooksRare as the clear winner so far, right? Not quite. In this case, the numbers lie as they do not tell the whole story. First, there is the wash trading issue we talked about. Second, when we factor in the number of each platform's users after LooksRare's launch, a completely different picture is painted. In that picture, OpenSea emerges the winner by far. It has over a million users compared to LooksRare's 78,000 during the same period. What if we exclude wash trading then? Let's look at this chart from the block that excludes the wash trading in LooksRare's daily trading volume. How about we take a date like February 2nd? LooksRare had over $500 million in daily trading volume. However, looking at this chart that excludes wash trading, the trading volume is around $13 million the same day. While the difference is staggering, LooksRare real volume is still impressive considering it's been around for only four months. Also, LooksRare has been steadily gaining significant organic volume recently. Another interesting chart is this one that compares the share of NFT marketplace volume between the platforms. As we can see, LooksRare is giving OpenSea a run for its money. Of course, the use of incentives has been working just fine till now. But in the long run, LooksRare will have to depend on its community and products to grow as a platform. That said, our comprehensive crypto report of the first quarter of this year shows OpenSea as the dominant platform in terms of the market share, way ahead of LooksRare, whose numbers have been significantly dropping month after month. What about trading fees? Both platforms have relatively low fees on trades, with OpenSea taking a 2.5% cut for every sale, while LooksRare takes a 2% cut. Speaking of cuts and fees, it's important that we talk about creators' royalties. This is a percentage that a creator can specify they wish to receive when their NFT is sold. While both platforms support this cool feature, LooksRare might have a leg up on OpenSea. The latter pays royalties once every two weeks, while LooksRare pays royalties in the same transaction as the sale. In terms of supported currencies, LooksRare currently supports ETH and Wrapped ETH. OpenSea, on the other hand, supports ETH, DAI, and more than 150 other currencies, including MANA and UNI. However, neither allow users to purchase NFTs with fiat currencies or credit cards. Okay, let's talk about minting. At the time of making this video, users cannot mint new NFTs on LooksRare. Contrarily, users on OpenSea can mint NFTs through a process known as lazy minting. Say we want to mint and list an NFT on OpenSea. Lazy minting allows us to mint the NFT without paying the gas fees up front. Instead, what happens is that when someone buys our listed NFT, it is minted just in time, and the minting cost is added to the total cost of the NFT. It's clear that OpenSea bears the first mover advantage, meaning that it has a lot of loyal users. Also, some users may not be willing to trust a newer platform, especially when the founders are and remain anonymous. While you might lean more towards option A, OpenSea, or option B, LooksRare, remember there's always option C, where you could choose to use both platforms and enjoy the benefits offered by the two. What option are you going with? Let us know in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, and follow us on all our socials for future alpha. See ya!